Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is time. This is the MLG X Games Invitational at Benson. This is the matchup all of Twitter has been waiting for. <laughs> My phone's been blowing up since I woke up at 8 a.m. this morning for this match. I honestly cannot wait. And it's interesting as well, because in the bracket show, we both have a bit of an interest in this game, because we both predicted these two teams to come out on top. Obviously, you picked uh, Optic Gaming. I picked EG. And only one of them can make it to that gold medal match to play TK. TK, sorry. Yeah, we thought uh, we would potentially see this in the gold medal match. We thought yeah. this would be the grand finals of the day. But they're matching up in the semifinal. One will drop down to the bronze match, the other one playing for gold against Team Caliber. And let's take a look at our brackets where we stand today. Of course, later on, we're going to see that bronze medal match around 3.30 after some all-star activity. At 5 o'clock, we're going to see the Two teams battle for the X Games gold, but that TK Envy matchup still, I'm still kind of flabbergasted by that. Right. A, ri a ridiculous performance by TK once again. Yeah, TK just come here to shock everybody watching at home. I mean, they came here with, you know, a lot of people saying, oh, they've not played that well in the league. I doubt they're going to do very well at X Games. And I don't think anyone that predicted this bracket would have said that they were going to be in the gold medal match. See, Team Envy waiting out there in the bleachers. They're looking on to see who will they be playing for X Games Bronze. On the other side, Team Caliber, they are out celebrating for the moment. <laughs> but they will also be taking a look at this matchup, a big one. Evil Genius is the reigning champions in Call of Duty. They won the million dollar tournament a few weeks ago. These guys have been to the grand finals in every tournament they've been to since COD Champs for Black Ops 2. Yeah, they are all so, so pumped. I was speaking to Kamer as well earlier on and he was saying, I really want revenge against TK. TK embarrassed us yes, yesterday. He wants revenge against them because that, that was a, a brutal beating TK gave EG. So look for these guys to come out hot. And one thing's for sure, uh, speaking to a lot of the pros yesterday as well, they were like, ah, I wish TK didn't beat them because all they've done now is really annoy EG. And EG are just all fired up, Pucket. If you don't know this squad, formerly known as Complexity, here's a look at Evil Geniuses. EG. One of the most dominant, if not the most dominant, Call of Duty teams to date. Kicks things off with Karma there, the slayer of the team in playing since Call of Duty Modern Warfare. First event, MLG Columbus 2011. And he's a two-time world champion. He's looking to add a gold medal to that list as well. Karma coming from Canada, but TP, he is the Californian. You see, he has been playing with eggs forever. Part of the duo as the objective mastermind. Here is his slang half. Ake's playing the SMG support role, constantly aggressive. He is the villain in the Call of Duty scene, not afraid to talk smack and try and get the other team off their game. But Crim6, we know what to expect when we watch this guy. Nothing but pure slaying. Yeah, his nickname, the Crimbot, he just doesn't miss at times. He used to play Halo, moved over to the Call of Duty franchise, and ever since that movie, he's been having a, a, a lot of success, as you said. Since this team was formed, they've been in the grand final of every single tournament for a year and a half. That is just a record which is probably never, ever going to be beaten again. Now, when we saw the Million Dollar Tournament, the closest matchup for Evil Geniuses' complexity at that time was the Optic Gaming match that went yep. all the way to game number five. EG was able to seal the deal with a big victory on Warhawk. I wonder, will we see a different story here today? Down on the floor, we have the world champion TP with Justine. So we've got a really big game coming up here against Optic. Now, you saw what happened yesterday with Envy. So how was that performance? Are you guys getting a little nervous? Optic's looking really strong. They came out way hotter than Envy on that first Octane. Really outslayed them, to be honest. So hopefully coming out on these first domination maps, we can really push the issue and show why we're the better slaying team. But they look very strong. We had a little bit of a weakness against TK. We got outslayed for the first time in quite a while. So we need to come out strong. Now, how's that been for you guys? Because you're so used to being on top to have to like fight your way back. Has this been a little bit different for you guys? The game has changed a little bit, in my opinion. A lot of people are using the Vector compared to the MTAR because of the nerf that happened recently. So the game slowed down a little bit. We had to adjust a little bit. And leading into this match, we kind of figured it out a little bit more. And I think we're ready. Who do you think has been really pulling out all the stops here on your team? Uh, I've, I've been playing really well, to be honest. Not to be cocky, I've been putting up a lot of more Slayer stats than I'm used to. I think that's, once again, I'm using the Vector like everyone else is. So doing really well with it. But we're all playing really well. And I'm excited to just match. All right, well, any last words here for your opponents? Uh, good luck to them, and you're lucky that Aix isn't doing this interview. Oh, that is very true. You guys like to talk a lot of game on Twitter, I'll say that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, and good luck, and back up to you guys at the booth.
There's a reason we don't put them on camera, Benson. All right, well, up next, we're going to take a look at this Optic Gaming Squad, of course, the fan favorites here in the venue. How many of you guys out there are cheering for the green wall today? About everyone. Yeah, pretty, pretty much. I saw like two EG claps not yeah. clapping there. All right, how many of you guys are out there for Evil Geniuses? Oh, actually, okay. EG has a bunch of fans on the left side of our stage. We'll see what is about to go down. Let's take a look at this Optic Gaming crew. Optic Gaming, one of the most known Call of Duty teams in the world. It's going to kick things off with Nature, the most followed personality in esports and places. It's Call of Duty Modern Warfare. First tournament, MLG National Championship 2009. He plays a support OBJ role. And what can you say about this guy, Clayster? I mean, Clayster, the AR Slayer of the team, he's fantastic. He used to actually play with the boys from EG, so he has that rivalry right. there as well, Puckett. So Clayster, want to see how he stacks up against his former squad. Of course, replaced on that team by Karma, but Scuffy, he has been a slaying master. He's been helping this team win all their domination so far in this tournament. They have not gone to game number five yet, and I have a strong feeling that part of it is due to this guy. Proofy, with that slaying power, has really changed their respawn game modes. Yeah, Proofy, fantastic individual. You put Proofy and you put Scumpy together, and it's just asking for a lot of kills to go down on, on all the maps. And that's what TP was referring to, you know, when they were playing Octane against Team Envious last night, those two were putting up some big digits, and they just completely outslayed Envy. Optic Gaming ready for this matchup. They know what is on the line of spot in the gold medal match against Team Caliber. Also, a potential chance to knock EG down to the bronze match and potentially not even let EG get to the podium here at the X Games. That would be making history, it really would. And I love people have been saying, you know, the EG curse. If there is an EG curse. I'm not sure if everyone at home knows about it, but as an organization, they picked up many teams and they've always failed to, to make it to the finals of the first tournament when they've been picked up. So is the curse going to be real here, Pocket? I don't know. All I right. predicted them to win, so I hope not. I know. Well, we'll see what is going to happen. Of course, Evil Geniuses are on top of the game for a reason. I'm expecting them to play at their best. Let's send it down on the floor with Justine and a member of Optic Gaming. You know him. It's Nate Shot. All right, Nate Chat, we've got a big game coming up here. Now, you guys dominated Envy yesterday, so do you think that same thing is going to happen here with EG? Uh, we played really well against Envy yesterday. We slayed just like we wanted to. We played the video system right into our hands. And I'm going to be looking for my three teammates to go off like they have been the whole weekend in respawns. We'll hold it down in S&D, and then we'll just make our way to the championship. Did you see any holes in EG's gameplay? Uh, they don't have a lot of holes. I mean, if you're winning this many tournaments, you don't have that many flaws in your gameplay, so it's really going to come down to gunfights. Uh, gunfights, gunfights. I can't preach it enough. Like I said, I have the three best slayers on my team, so I'm pretty confident going into this one. All right, are you going to keep your controller plugged in today? Yeah, the controller is going to stay plugged in. I'm ready to go. No mistakes this time, and we'll see what happens. Any last words for your opponents? Uh, I think Call of Duty is ready for a new champion that will represent the Call of Duty community a little bit better, and I hope that we are the team to do it. All right. Well, I wish you the best of luck, and I'm going to set it back up to you guys, Smooth, to get this started. Bang, bang, Benson. Shots <laughs> fired. Oh, I love the rivalry between these two teams. It's, it's absolutely epic. It really is. The, it's, just, it's just that Aix rivalry with, with nature. They're very, they very don't like rivals. each other. Uh, yeah, to put it bluntly. I didn't want to say it, but yeah. pretty much that's, that's, the, that's the truth behind it. Straight up what it is. We're going into another best of five. And talk to me a little bit about how you think these two teams are going to stack up when it comes to our first game mode, Domination. <sighs> domination, to be honest, it all depends on the maps bucket. It's very hard to, to predict what's going to happen without knowing the, the exact maps. Because like we saw Octane yesterday, that's something which Optic are going to be very, very strong at. But if it's something along the lines of Strike Zone, then I would be much favoring EG there. Their rotations are just on point and, uh, and very key. But as Nature said, you know, they need to hold down the S and D. They can't let EG slip. Because if you go back to that COD Champs game when these two met there, it was Optic taking it 6-5 in the first S and D. And then when it went to the second S and D, which I believe was Warhawk game five, EG stepped up to another level pocket. They 6-0'd with Crim6 going 12-0 as well. Our first game mode is going to be Domination on Freight. And if you look back at the EG TK match, TK was able to beat EG in all the respawn game modes. They did lose the right. search, and that's really what I'm wondering here is who is going to take the, the doms? Is it going to be split one and one? Will EG be able to dominate? And then who is going to take this game number two? Because just like in our last match, it seems to be if you can take that search and destroy and a domination, 
You're definitely going to take this one in a four-game series. Yeah, you, you look very set. You, you go into the best of five, two maps up already. That gives you a potential other three maps to try and take. And you, you go in as well with, with, with the sort of the mentality, oh, we're just one map away. I mean, we saw that similar thing with, with TK. But Opti Gaming, you know, they're not exactly inexperienced when it comes to the major stages. You know, you look at Call of Duty XP and, and Call of Duty Championships. The, the name has been in all those majors and they played very, very well. But this is the X Games now, Pocket. This is where they need to get into that gold medal game. Are you guys ready for this best of five series, Optic Gaming versus Evil Geniuses? That's all right. We've got a great crowd here for Championship Sunday here in the MLG Gaming Shack. If you're in Austin, Texas, come on down to the X Games. Still the bronze medal and gold medal matches later today. And Benson, we have some great stats from our friends at Call of Duty Esports TV. We have Optic. They are 1-0 in domination freight, while EG is 1-1. But most importantly, Scumpy and Cloyster have the highest KD out of any of the players on this matchup when it comes to Dom Freight. What are those numbers? Scumpy is a 1.55 KD on that map. And Ridiculous. A 1.52. So those two have been kind of laying down the slang when it comes to that map. Now on the other side, Crim6, he has the highest for EG at 1.15. That is sixth overall. So I'm looking for a strong performance from Optic Gaming. We're going to see can Clayster and Scumpy keep it up heading into game number one. The map is loading up right now. The players taking their last drinks a Frappuccino for Scumpy this morning, getting a little bit of caffeine <laughs> for this battle. I mean, hey, what, whatever floats your boat. He's obviously enjoying that. That proof he's just getting oh, himself on that. Oh, yeah. he's, he's excited for this game. He, he loves the, the big stages. And you just see they're just making sure Clay hasn't got his mic muted. That would definitely not help at the start of that game. But the Optic boys fired up. And it seems every time you put them inside one of those booths, they, they always seem to get themselves pumped full of energy. And you see the EG boys, on the other hand, just sat there, just talking strats last minute before the game gets underway. So let's take a look at the map. We're headed to Freight once again for domination, just like the NVTK matchup. It's all about that B flag, and I'm really wondering, will either team be able to actually three cap each other like we saw in our first semifinal of the day? Well, that's what Optic going to have to be careful about, because when it comes to Dom Freight, this is a map which EG is so good at going for that three cap. However, Optic Gaming, they need to just try and make sure they do not allow Aches to roam around the map. That's pretty much his role for this EG team, Pucket. He'll get behind enemy lines, he'll start slaying from behind, uh, and then he'll just go for that neutral on that home flag. Off the break, I'm on board with Scumpy. He's got the best KD. Unfortunately, that is going to be a death right away. Over to Clayster now. And Clayster and Proofy are going to pick up two of the first kills. Proofy trying to protect that right side, and he will fall at the hands of Aches. So Clayster, he's going to watch left. The rest of the team all focused on the right. And it's going to be up to Nate Shot to keep EG off of B. He's going to have a tough pass as well because the EG players were trying to swarm that B flag, but he managed to just about do it. However, Karma is trying to jump on it. He goes down as well thanks to Clayster. And off the game, he just uh, managed to keep EG off that B flag for now. Ooh, sloppy shots from Clayster, but he is able to chase down TP. Nice jump up there behind Higgs, and he's going for the third. Won't get it. Meanwhile, Nate Shot pushing up on the middle. I'm looking through the EG players. So far, we have Krim 6, 3 and 2. That was his second kill. And look where Krim is going. He's going to try and push up on these spawns. Well, it looks like that's going to be Ace capping the B flag. And that's really, really smart. Like, he's just trying to cause a distraction here whilst his teammate kept the flag. But actually, Ace was taken off by Nature Nate with shot. a big two piece there. He cleans up both Krim and Ace, who was on that B flag. So, up to gaming. Flying. A, a little bit shaky for now. It's EG who have had the majority of the map control, but Nature looking at pushing up now, trying to do what Crim6 just did to him. He's on that B flag. He should be able to cap it. And off to gaming, grab wow. the B flag. Nate shot really the key player so far in this game, preventing Aix as he almost had that B flag, was then able to capture it. And Optic Gaming now able to start pulling away on our scoreboard. Another big kill there. Clayster picks up a two piece. He's going to find a third player at the logs. Oh, and he's Clay, still alive somehow. Nice map movement here. Team cover but from Nate Shot once again. Three down no. for EG. And Nate Shot is roaming around with Proofy. Both players being very aggressive. Proofy trying to set up for the spawn trap. Back lumber. Now Proofy going to be the key player here to watch because he's currently 8-5. and five. He's pushing really far towards that EG base. And he could maybe go for This is pretty much what Aix does. And Proofy's going to know that. He's managed to pick up one. Going to call that second player out to his team. This position just needs to keep on slaying, wow. and he's doing a sensational job so far. Proofy was getting himself fired up before this game, and it's paying off. 10 and 5 running low on ammo, though, looking for a gun. 
And he's going to find some more, it looks like. Let's see him push out on this right side. Will be met by one player. There is some contention back over at A. Stun comes in, nice execution. Proofy was cleaned up in the middle as Clayster regains A. However, TP is pushing straight towards Clayster, so this is going to be a big gunfight, and TP does come out on top of that. TP now should be able to try and go for the neutral. However, two Optic Gaming players are going to be pushing him. He does go down, and that's Proofy once again. He is all over the map right now, Pucket, and he is just slaying like a beast. Proofy, 11 and 6. Clayster heating up as well at 10 and 6 with two captures after regaining A. Turning back on Oracle mode, you can see the push is coming from Red from this EG line of Proofy there trying to slow it down. Clay trying to get the cross. And Scuffy, he started off 0 and 5, 3 and 9 in this one, is yet to get heated up. But look at his positioning here with the rest of his teammates down. Scump's got to go big on B and another big stop as he oh. takes out Ix and a two-piece on TP. Just as you were saying, he needs to heat up. That's exactly what he did. Big two kills on that B flag. And Scump just needs to stay alive in this position. He doesn't necessarily need to try and make any elaborate plays. And unfortunately, Ix is going to clean him up here, but the lead is really starting to generate 65 to 41 on this first side. Clayce is on the B flag, trying to keep it contested. Now it's going to be down to Proofy. They do play. lose it, but TP's still there. TP is going so big here, gets two, and he's going to get the double. And it looks like uh, we're going to see a nice play from Krim helping him out. TP on your screen with the Vector, won't be able to keep it going on the left side. Ix is going for the power position, though, top red. Now this is where I really expect to see the likes of TP and also Crimsix start pushing up and put some pressure on Optic's home flag. And in fact, it is, it's Crimsix now who may start thinking about going for that A neutral. Two players go down for Optic, they're going to be off spawn. And Krim may actually be able to make some plays there if he's good. Krim taking out. TP holding down middle and it looks like his teammate, that was Krim, or excuse me, Karma, back A. Unable to go for the neutralization, but with EG capping two flags going down the last 40 seconds, they will be able to get this one a bit closer entering the half. Aix is just absolutely dominating from that top red power position. He managed to pick up a big two kills, just keeping Optic pinned in that base, and EG doing a good job of just trying to reduce that deficit, but it will still be Optic Gaming going into that second side with a lead. The only question now, Pocket, is how much of a lead because they're being forced right to the back of their base, and look at that accuracy there from Aix as he shuts down Proofy. Just not able to get out of this, but it, they do still have that lead though. Nice Septex coming in. Aches low on ammo, unable to get the angle on the players at B. Gets one. He oh, is taking what? Out, and the last bullet is That's a ridiculous. Aches just showing you why he's so accurate. He was top red, and I think he got around about five kills up there. He's on a 7.3, but about three or four of them were all headshots only. You see one bullet headshot from Aches. Just such a dominant player. Seven free from Aix. He was 10 and 10 before getting up there. He's going to bring his team within nine going into the second side. Yeah, it's a very fragile lead, and this is all going to come down to me. now who can nine. get that. <laughs> Good mess, that pocket. Good yep. mess. Golden uh. boys in my brain right now. We're going <laughs> into the last five minutes here of domination. Flag is going to be capped back at the base, and Aix, he's sticking with the Remington. It was working for him at the end of that last round. Let's see if he can keep it going. It's all going to be about that B flag control of the break bucket. And I expect to see both teams play it maybe a little bit tentative off the start. Unless maybe you see some smoke pushes to see the grab control of that B flag early. But Ace just being so slow on that crate side. Clayster cleans him up. However, look at Nate Shot. He's trying to be a little bit sneaky. He needs to defend that B flag. Does so. Picks up one. And you see, he is running. Nice play from Nate all Three down. alone here in the middle of the map. No. To grab this flag though. No. Nice Semtex coming in. Ace is going to clean that one up. Crim6 chucking two more. Good use of blast shields off the respawn by uh, Clayster, but Krim's still able to get in here and do more damage. We're going to see Karma try and go for B. He's cleaned up, so B still neutral. Neither team able to get map control quite yet. Krim is in a great position, though, as his teammates hop that B flag. Try and give him some cover. One bottom red picks him up, finds a second nice as well, cover. flying down. That was Proofy the third right wow. there as well. Krim six picks up a huge kill. Four up to gaming players go down. And Krim, he's hungry for more spawn kills. Yeah, let's go back to Krim as we show you B flag is captured. So here is where EG can totally turn the tide. Once they get this B control, all they have to do is hold Optic Gaming back. You've seen big grenades so far from this team, and Krim, in fact, is going to go for some neutralization at sea while all the focus is on the middle of the map. 
Krim6 is going to be causing problems in the back of Optic Space. Oh, and he's picking up the kills as well, which is a worrying thing for Optic Gaming. The support comes in from Karma. The trip caps in, and EG are looking in full control of this second side. Now, Optic Gaming need to dedicate themselves to one flag. They need to push as a team because they do not want this trip cap to be in for a long time. Krim6 on a 6.3. Nate's going out. Going to get one challenge for the second. That's Scumpy. Four down now here for EG. Scump's going to get C. We're going to see Nate shot cap B with Proofy. Nice comeback Good here from around. Optic. However, they are down by nine points. They're still able to bring it back. Still plenty of time. Puget, two minutes, 46 seconds left. Nate shot in a great position, top white, just waiting to see if anyone from EG is going to push out. Turns around, picks up one in the form of Krim. And this is where Nate needs to be careful because he may start thinking about maybe pushing for that neutral on A, but at the same time, if you can just hold that C and B flight combination, it, you will win the game at this point. Proofy posting up top white. Going to find all four players in here. Gets one. Second one goes down at the hands of Scump. Krim6 and TP still alive. And look at the sneaky play. Meanwhile, we got two players pushing, making three players from Optic all on A as they're setting up for the spawn trap. Proofy trying to keep C in their favor. Now, if Proofy can win this one more gunfight at C whilst his teammates win at A, this could be big for Optic. However, they're not oh, able to no. do so. Krim's going to grab that C flag. Optic should gain the A flag control. So Optic still with A, B. It's just been flipped, and it's a two-point game, Pucket. Two-point game in favor of Optic now. And Krim, he's going to get some help. Three down. He's going to find more, and that is Nate shot four down momentarily for Optic Gaming. And just like that, EG retakes B cap as well. Really strong play. And now Optic are going to be pinned in that crate side. And this is exactly what happened at the end of the first side. If you remember, Pocket, EG put so much pressure on them. And now watch Nate shot. Uh -oh. I think he may go for an under underground push. That's what he may start thinking. I'm keeping my eye on that map. And I think he's opened the door, and yeah, Nate Shot is. He's going to go for that underground push and see if he can maybe get, make a play on that C flag. Keep him highlighted on that minimap. Two players have already gone down, so Skump needs to just defend that A flag if he possibly can. But in fact, he's going to probably help out Nate Shot now. Yeah, Skump's actually doing a great job. He picked off Aix, who is all the way top red. He's now been behind the enemy, causing problems. They're always wondering where he's at. In a big play, we had Nade Shot pick up the Semtex on Aegis, so we're going to have C and A control here for Optic Gaming once again. However, staying on board with Scumpy. This is going to be tough for Optic to hold, though, because they need to dedicate themselves to one flag to try and help. I mean, pushing B here would be the best decision because two players from EG Ooh. have dropped back to A, oh. but they're getting slayed down. Now it's all up to Proofy for Optic Gaming for a couple of seconds off respawn. Aegis is putting a lot of pressure on Optic Space once again, but the knife comes in from Scump. Last 40 seconds. 143 to 140. It's a three-point game in favor of EG right now. They just need to hold on. Karma, the two-time world champion, trying to stay alive here in the middle street. You got 147 to 143 in favor of this EG squad. Karma knows they just got to hold on for the last 20 seconds, and I think EG has done it. Can they keep their home base clear? It looks like we're switching over. That was Aix who cleaned up A once again on Clayster. And our first game in the best of five is going to Evil Geniuses. It was a very, very close game. They're looking at that scoreboard as well. Aix just dropped 29. Karma, the two-time world champ, 27 kills. So the outslaying being done by EG. And you can see how much this means to Aix. We were saying the big rivalry, he just seems to go off every time they play against Opti. Big kills out of Aix, but really, I think it was Krim6 and Karma's play that really won them that game. Krim, of course, pushing to see the great cover fire from Karma, allowing him to get there. We they had fantastic to rotations, front, and they guys. shut down the battles for their home run. flag. We were pushing too far. We were pushing too to far. Clayson was saying the guys just Dude, weren't staying alive for long enough, so I'll take that into account for the next nomination, if it goes that far, of course. But up next is going to be some search and destroy action, and going back to that series at COD Champs, this was a map Optic managed to actually pick up, so... They're going to have to do the same here, otherwise they're going to be 2-0 down against the World Champs EG, and that's never a position you want to be in against them. Well, it's the first match of the day, and already we're going to see a slow start for Scumpy. He had the best overall KD on this map coming into it. Here's his numbers at the end of our 10-minute domination. He went 16-25 with just two captures. On the other side, TP, the objective player, also going just 16 kills. So pretty even numbers across the board, but Karma, Aix, and Krim6 Going big positive in that domination. We'll see if they can keep it going. s and is coming up next. Will Optic be able to tie it up, or will EG pull away with a 2-0 lead?